Good morning. I have some happy mail to share today. Uh, first up is this set of Rainbow Sparkle Watercolor Gel Crayons. And recently, or not too long ago, I did a haul video from a local art supply store where I bought a package of paint stick crayon things. They were this Uli brand. And I was talking about those, and my online friend Beth Ann said, Hey, you really need to try the Uli Rainbow Sparkle Watercolor Gel Crayons. And uh, I said, Yeah, I'll probably do. And she said, Let me send you some. And I said, Okay. So <laughs> she did. <laughs> and she was actually absolutely right. I did need these in my life. I've used them a little bit, but I am going to make a video where I use them some more so that you can see. Um, what they do because this is this is they're an inexpensive brand um, You can get them off Amazon and these are really pretty cool So thank you very much Beth Ann and y'all stay tuned for another video where I actually use these Next up Oh Renee 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 my lovely friend Renee who um is here on YouTube and she has an Etsy store. Renee's at it again. I will put links down in the video description because if for some reason you don't know Renee, you definitely need to know her and go visit her. She sent some stuff that I'm still just in awe over. Okay, she sent me two of these packages. I think she has these in her Etsy store. They're magazines and a book for using for your glue book or your junk journals, um, an altered book. This is a full legit book right here, y'all. She sent me two of these packs. And they come with, and I, you know, I'm not really sure. They're probably vary depending on what she has in stock. But, you know, a couple of magazines. And look, Vintage Life. It doesn't, look at that, look at the clothes. Oh y'all, it doesn't get any better than this. I love these Vintage Life magazines. The ads are spectacular. So yeah, one of those, a couple other magazines, a Nat Geo, a um, Reader's Digest, and then look at this. This is a physics textbook. Textbooks often have the best paper especially if you're doing stuff like um, paper beads because the the paper is thin so it rolls easily and it's sometimes like this one it's got like a matte finish smooth coating on it this is fabulous so yeah I'm <laughs> I'm like I can't even contain the ideas that I have for this stuff there's just so much that can be done with these things. Thank you so much, Renee. Y'all are going to be seeing these coming up in, in future videos because, like I said, I've already got ideas for them. Okay, as if this wasn't awesome enough, <laughs> Renee sent a second package, and in the first one she'd mentioned um, a Bertha-sized book block coming your way. I couldn't even wrap my brain around what that meant, and then it showed up and it became clear <laughs> what that meant. It doesn't even fit. It doesn't fit my video frame. Okay, y'all are just gonna have to trust me. This is huge, and I don't, I don't think she has these in her store, or if she did, she sold them all, because, you know, they're awesome. I'm, I'm a measure, and this is 15 inches tall by about 11 inches wide. And it is a book block, no covers, just the inside. And this, the whole inside are issues of this Barron's National Business and Financial Weekly, which looks to me like a uh, Wall Street Journal type publication. This one is from 1970, and there's, you know, like, this is like a comp of lots of issues of Barron's from some library and 
I love this, okay, not only just because of the size, you can pull a sheet out, fold it in half, and then you have an instant journal of, you know, a spectacular size. We just don't often get books and papers this size to play with, right? Plus, they're all perfectly patina. Look, can you see the aging around the edges? You get just enough of the beautiful, oh, look at that, the beautiful um, patina around the edge, but this is from 1970. This is not like, you know, turn of the century where the pages would be brittle. These pages are still flexible to use, and this is my favorite part. Is I guess these are the stock market things. <laughs> Clearly, I don't invest. <laughs> but I recognize this as, you know, stock market numbers, um, which just makes, to me, awesome uh, papers to use in your junk journals or for backgrounds or for painty papers because, you know, you leave a little bit showing through and then you can see, like, all the words and the letters, but they don't make a lot of sense. I love that. I love, love, love things printed like this this tiny print and then they have you know there's articles there's ads so this is fabulous and um, yeah I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with it yet I'm gonna probably have to love on it a little bit longer before I start tearing into it you know I will tear into it. it it's going to be slightly painful but I will do it because it's too awesome not to use but I I think I, I just want to I just want to hug it a little more <laughs> yeah if that's weird to you you probably shouldn't even be watching my channel because <laughs> it's normal to me and yeah this is fabulous thank you so much Renee thank you for thinking about me and y'all these things are not cheap to send and I, I I know that and I appreciate so much that you would do that for me thank you my friend okay and I also received I have had my in-laws came to visit they came they were gonna stay a week which is great they had car trouble and they were here for like three weeks which was completely unexpected but I'm really kind of glad they were here because you know, if you're out traveling and you have car trouble, it would super suck to be at a hotel or a campsite or something when your car takes two weeks to get fixed. And it was mainly just ordering parts is what took so long. And it's a new car. It was a warranty job. But, you know, it just took forever. So we had them a lot longer than we were expecting, which was perfectly fine. But I got behind on a lot of things like videos and thanking people for happy mail and, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and this is one of them. I um, started watching PM Artist Studio, the YouTube channel. I'll put the link, you know, somewhere. And love, love, love their videos. They do live streams two or three times a week. It's a mother and daughter pair. And, you know, not only is the art awesome, um, but just the, it's entertaining. They're fun. They're funny. I'm just super enjoying their channel. I try to catch their videos as often as I can. So Mariah, the M in the PM Artist Studio, um, contacted me and said, hey, you want some stencils? And I said, uh-huh. <laughs> so she sent me some. <laughs> and, okay, the first thing I noticed, this is the mailer completely minimalist not fancy I love this and I told her that her whole the mailing the packaging everything super duper impressed me because you know how sometimes when you order stuff like especially from Etsy and it comes in this beautiful package with you know printed tissue and a little sticker and a bow and it's just lovely it's like opening a gift which I think is awesome but then I also think wow you could have spared all that and probably saved me some money because I know I'm paying for your pretty packaging <laughs> so yeah it's kind of a, a love-hate thing I really do prefer the minimalist packaging nothing fancy very clean 
efficient and does the job of protecting you know whatever it is that they're sending so that that's what impressed me so much about this right off the bat plus look at this this is Patricia the P um, clearly one of her prints that she does and look at this a, a glassine envelope with um, this feels like texture paste on a gel print and then the sweet note. I mean, just everything. Even as as clean and minimalist as it is, it's still very personal and awesome. So, yeah, I was totally impressed with that. They also sent me a discount code that I'm going to share on another video when I actually use the stencils. You know, this is the, hey, I got stuff. This is not the, you know, now let's use it video. So they're stencils, and I don't know what hole I was living in. Well, yeah, I do, but <laughs> we're not going to go there right now. Anyway, I, I, you know, I hadn't heard of them, and then even when I did start watching their videos, it, I didn't realize that their stencils are cut from Yupo. You know, I saw immediately that their stencils were white, and I thought, huh, well, that's different. I didn't know till I got them that they're cut from Yupo. And they come like this. You get, you know, a little information sheet about these masks or stencils that you order. You know the name of it. It tells that they're cut from 74-pound Yupo paper, which is not... Um, I've used Yupo before, but what I used was obviously considerably thinner than this. This is kind of a... This is a sturdy Yupo. And um, so it's got the information, it's got their information, their links, and then on this side it shows the stencils that you're getting and then gives you their angel policy. So neat, clean, informative, and not overly fussy. I mean, most stencils you buy are in the clear plastic thing, you know, with the header, which is nice, but what you just take that clear plastic sleeve that they're in and you immediately throw it away. So, <laughs> yeah, it's just, why? You don't need that. This, this I'm keeping these because I'm going to make these into a junk journal or use them in my junk journal. You know, this is packaging that, or packaging that can be reused by those of us who like to, you know, collect junk and use it. So, yeah, the stencils, of course, are awesome, but <laughs> I'm just going on and on about the packaging and not even showing you the stencils. Let's get to the stencils. Okay, I got this one, uh, Cape Rocks and String Thing. There's this one, and this is, I guess, technically a mask, not a stencil. They have both. Uh, Dazed Galactic Petticoat. <laughs> I just love some of these names. And this has a, a little doodad. And then these. So, and I really like that they have different sizes of the same pattern. Because, I mean, how many times have you had a stencil or mask and you're like, oh, this would be perfect in this if only it was smaller or bigger. And then this is like the, the pieces so you could kind of make your own thing to go with it. So, yeah, I super duper love that. And then we have daisies. This is a set of masks. Look at that. All different sizes. And geometric Polynesian. Oh, this would be like a legit stencil on the, the cool Yupo. And cellular membrane. I love this. It's very biological looking. It looks like, you know, skin. I would have called this your epidermis magnified <laughs> or something. I don't know. It looks like skin. I don't know why. <laughs> um, going daisies. This is, I see I can use this with the other little ones. Look at that. That's like a big sheet. A mask sheet of daisies and big string thing again you have options for big and little of the same or similar designs and then jelly shelly this is a 9 by 12 stencil 
So yeah, I'm super excited about getting to play with these. Um, not only the designs, but the the Yupo. I'm I'm curious to see how that works and what that's like. And I'm totally convinced that everything I do is going to turn out just as awesome as what Patricia does on their channel. And I'm going to be totally let down about that. It's like trying to use your gel plate and have it come out like Patty Parrish. You know, she's got some kind of magic where every print she pulls is amazing. And I, I know, you know, that's not 100% true, but it just feels like it because they just have a bond with their gel plates that's, I don't know, it defies reason. So that is all I have. Check the video description for links to these people and then stay tuned for when I actually use some of this awesome stuff. And thank you all very much for your generosity and for thinking of me. I appreciate you. The end.